Yeah, Jose Arguez has, uh, he's got a whole bunch of books. Um, in fact, if you want to check out, uh, his website is lawoftime.org. So he passed away 46 days ago, um, but um, they're continuing his work. His website's lawoftime.org. He's got lots and lots of books. Um, he's a, a brilliant writer. Sometimes uh, each sentence is very chunky and you can meditate on it for a long time, such as this one. Little do the humans realize how close they are to the moment when the genetic game board of their reality becomes the illumined design of galactic destiny. <laughs> so that was also part of uh, what Jose's message is about is that you know we're so split off from each other and from our relationship to the living earth that we have also completely forgotten that not only do we live in a solar system, we live within a galaxy. We live within an intelligent, sentient galaxy. So part of his calendar is about inspiring us to create galactic culture. Um, and this is related to the ancient Maya. Their cosmology was deeply related to the galaxy. Um, the spiral represents the, the Milky Way spiral that we live within. So that's part of um, the importance of expanding our viewpoint, expanding our orientation. And that's also why changing your sense of time, it, it opens us up. And that was something that Jose also said in one of his last talks he gave before he passed away. He talked about the closing of the cycle in 2012 and 2013 and how the importance that we need to open to the new. We need to open our minds, open our hearts, open our eyes, open our imaginations, open our channels and our capacity to receive the new, to receive new programs of harmony, uh, new guidance, how to create a new paradigm, a new world, and really to think outside the box, to stop business as usual, you know, get off the gerbil wheel of time, uh, you, know, trans we, you know, we can transform all of this. He was an extremely uh, revolutionary, uh, alternative, um, you know, cultural anthropologist, and so um, there's a lot to transform as we open to the new. Before he passed away, he was very conscious, and he said that he really, his prayer was that he could help more from the other side. Um, so I know he's a he's a time traveler, so I think he's you know one of the star ancestors now that's with us. But in any case, um, I just it really brings me so much joy to be able to uh, share a little bit about how to use this calendar system, and I want to make sure you guys all have uh, one of Nexter's calendars, and because um, I think we're coming to a point where we.